Hi, I'm Doug Newell. I'm the wiring guy here at Chip Ganassi, have been for the last five years. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about how we design and build a wiring harness for our race cars. From a high level overview, I just take care of all the wiring, uh, whether I'm maintaining it or building it, uh, it just depends on the day. So today we're going to talk about a wiring harness, which I just actually finished this one yesterday. This will be the interior harness of our new car. So to build this, we have to pick a starting point, and that'll be here. And this is where all the switch panel and all the switches and everything that controls the car actually input into it. This will go down through the middle of the car, and then the devices that it controls will connect at this end all the way back to the fuel pumps. The fuel pumps are the very last thing in this piece of wiring. To build these, we have to design it. We have to figure out what the loads are so we know what size wire to run. And once we have that in place, we make a sketch drawing of it. And, and I take that sketch drawing and you can see this little rat's nest I have going here. This will be another piece of wiring for the same car. And eventually, hopefully, this will look as nice as this one looks, but it'll do its job. From an engineering standpoint, uh, electrically, obviously, uh, engineers design, and so to come up with this design, we have to know the loads, we have to apply engineering principles, uh, physics to the wire. We need this thing to run for forever, really, but it has to last 500 miles. Can't have this thing failing in the middle of a race, so we have to properly size wire, properly lengths, everything has to work the way it's designed to do. I'm Doug Newell, and this has been STEM Talks, presented by Atos Sintel. <laughs>